Baji. This is Pa Baji Masala is what we're going to see today. delicious uh, recipe because you know you take it with uh, not only with pav buns you can take it with your uh, naans chapatis and rotis also because they are a mixture of all vegetables with some masala and they are really excellent so let's review you how to do this lovely pav bhaji masala finely chopped three numbers of green chilies and some ginger one teaspoon of fennel seeds one teaspoon of chili powder 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder 1 and a half tablespoon of coriander powder some coriander leaves half of lemon 150 grams of green peas 200 grams or 1 cup of chopped potatoes 200 grams of 1 cup of chopped carrots 100 grams of capsicum 200 grams of chopped cauliflower 150 grams of onion 150 grams of tomato, salt according to taste, some turmeric powder and some oil. Now heat a wok and simultaneously heat some water on the other side. So I am going to do the process of uh, blanching with this cauliflower. I am going to put them in hot water and then immediately wash them with some cold water and then add to the dish. So thus we will remove if there are any small worms or some germs into this. Now pour some oil to the wok. Just 2 teaspoons of oil will be okay. Now add the onions. Add some salt onto it. This will increase the speed of the sauteing. When they are 50% sauteed, you can add the ginger and green chilli. Now add the fennel seeds. I don't want the fennel seeds to get burnt, so that's why we have not added them in the initial stage. Now add this cauliflower to the hot water. Just let this be in this hot water for 4 to 5 minutes. Then we can remove it. Take off the stove and leave it in the hot water. We have sorted the onions well. There is a slight change in color here and there. And they have shrunk in size. Now we will add the tomatoes. See that they have sorted and they become very soft. So cover it with a lid and leave it in medium heat for 4 to 5 minutes. You so see the tomatoes are cooked very well and smash them like this. So this is the consistency we require. Now add the potatoes to this. Carrots. Now just add some water to this. Cover it and cook it for 5 minutes until the vegetables are cooked. Soft. Now if you are going to add soaked and cooked peas, you can add it at a later stage. If you are going to add fresh green peas, then this is the stage you will have to add it. Now pour enough of water, like they, are, they should be halfway immersed, because we are going to cover and cook them. If you are going to add more water, there will be a lot of water left over. So see to that they are just partially immersed. Cover it and leave it for 5 minutes. Now after 5 minutes, I am just going to filter this water and remove the cauliflower. Now look at this, after 5 minutes, they have been cooked to 75%. Now we are going to add the cauliflower and peas and allow it to cook again. Cauliflower, green peas, capsicums. Now we have we added only little salt, so you can check for the salt and add some more salt. Turmeric powder, chili powder. Chili powder you can add according to your taste. If you want it more spicy, you can add some more powder. Coriander powder. Again, we are adding these soft vegetables that is cauliflower and capsicums lastly because they should stay nicely, like they should be very crispy and they should not lose their shape. So that's why we are first allowing the carrot potatoes to get cooked and then we are adding this. Otherwise they will get to a mashy consistency. So now we want it actually in a semi mashed consistency. So that's why we are adding them lastly. Now add sufficient quantity of water. 
let this be immersed for more than three fourth. And now cover it and cook for ten minutes. Now after ten minutes, you have to check whether the vegetables are cooked. Depends on the stove and the heat you are using. So that's why there is no specific time I can mention. So you will have to see to that whether they are soft. They should not lose their shape but they should be soft. So you can put them in the cooker but what will happen is they will uh, get overcooked and uh, they will become a mashy stage. So that's why we are not using the cooker and pan is preferable for this. Moreover when they are getting boiled like this one, together with one and one there will be a good flavoring of the sabji. So that's why we don't do the power masala in the cooker. Now we are going to add the lemon juice and the garam masala. So lastly add the garam masala. Now those who are using pav bhaji masala can straight away add the pav bhaji masala instead of uh, coriander powder and garam masala. Uh, but we are using the homemade coriander uh, or sambar powder and then we will add the garam masala to it to get the exact flavor and the taste. So can you see it's being done so nicely. We can remove it from the stove. And if required, you can give a small mash here and there to give the nice consistency. I switched off the stove, you can remove it from the stove and then do it. But because it's a flat base, I am doing it here, just in small places. Now just have a look at this. Half is mashed and half is looking on their color and size. Now look at this. Pav bhaji masala is ready. Let's transfer to a serving dish. Sprinkle some coriander leaves. Now I'm going to show you how to serve it with the pav buns. We have already sorted the buns with some butter. So we'll see how to put them inside. So these lovely pav buns are ready to be served with the pav bhaji masala. So dear friends, hope you enjoyed this session of lovely pav bhaji masala. Serve it with the pav buns which you have already seen in those at pizza. For watching this pav buns, you can click here. Here we have the lovely pav bhaji masala to be served with the pav buns. Those at pizza are always enhancing your taste buds. If you like this video, press like. Subscribe to Dosa de Pizza and for your printable recipes visit dosadepizza.com. Thank you and bye bye.